Hi again, it's Julie Skolnick from With Understanding Comes Calm and Let's Talk 2E. And I'm standing now, still at the 2E Symposium, which is awesome, and drawing to a close. But I'm standing with a teacher whose name is Graham Douglas, and I learned stuff from him last night because I got to sit at his table, and he is an awesome educator. So I want to ask him that question I've been asking everybody that you've been listening to today. What do you do in the 2E field, and what do you love? So. Here is my new friend, Graham. Hello there. Tell us. So, uh, I'm an educator. I work in a very small 2D program at a very small private school in Toronto, Canada. Uh, I work specifically with two students. I get to teach the whole school because I also run an outdoor ed program and a drama program. But specifically with these two, uh, we do very project-based, uh, inquiry-based, strength-based learning that's based on what they are interested in and what they're interested in learning about. Um, we focus on a specific idea or topic or theme and we build on that. So it might be, can we build a flying car? Uh, it might be, how does maple syrup work? Um, and so through all that, I then pick and pull at it to derive the curriculum pieces that we need and to ensure that they continue to get the growth that they need. And what do I love about it? Uh, I love about it because no two days are the same. Um, that every day I am challenged just as much as they are. Um, they are far smarter than I am in so many ways. Uh, but what I love is, is that my experience is not academic as much as it is world experience. And so when they ask me questions, I'm able to draw on my travels around the world and the different businesses I've run. Uh, so they get to see an educator that's not just a book teacher, but rather a world teacher. And I think that's so valuable to them as students, 2E students specifically, because they have, they have that innate ability as well to be world learners. Um, and they just need an avenue to be able to do that through. And that's what really, that's what, that's what floats my boat about. Yeah, and I think you make it a safe place too, Graham. So, well, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye, everybody.